I'm Gobi, the founder of LD Talent. This video is worth your time because I'm going to show you how I personally find and manage remote developers. Whether you're non-technical, tech savvy, or very technical, this video is for you. My co-founder and I have backgrounds in computer science with degrees from Stanford, the University of California system, and IIT. Our team collectively has over 35 years of experience in software, and we personally vet the developers in our diverse network for intellectual merit, technical strength, and algorithmic thinking, but also for productivity, efficiency, motivation, responsiveness, and process thinking. We're going to show you a new future of work. Our ways of working afford complete budget control and make the development process so transparent that we're finding that people are very happy with the LD Talent 5-hour free trial. If you have questions or just need technical advice, our bookable calendar is right below this video. Without further ado, let's get started. This is a demo on how to use LD Talent. LD Talent is a platform that lets you find and manage developers in an efficient, agile, and lean way. The platform is used by large companies, startups, venture funds, and universities. It features diverse developers from all over the world. The platform can be used to hire contractors whom you pay through the platform, as well as to recruit full-time developers whom you hire directly. We will go over both options in this video. It has competitive pricing and a system where you only pay for work that you are satisfied with. The platform beats out the competition on a number of attributes, such as $105 in free credit, which is approximately five hour free trial, betting, pricing, and other logistics. So with that said, let's show you how to use LD Talent. You click Find Developers on the landing page, and you select skills such as React, Python, and Node. A shortcut to select a skill is simply to click into the skills list and start typing the name of the skill. React, Python, NOD node. You can change the location filters and experience years, though we strongly recommend being open-minded about both. Click Find Engineers. For each search result, you can see how long that developer has been on the platform, their last activity on the platform, their title, how quickly they respond in Slack, how many messages they send per day in Slack, which is a gauge of their responsiveness, how satisfied past clients have been with the developer, their degrees, the number of hours they've earned on the platform, the ratio of the number of times they've been hired to the number of times they've been interviewed, the number of years of experience the developer has in each skill, the overall number of years of experience and types of experiences the developer has, the percent of work sessions they've tracked that were approved by clients, the number of projects they've been active on in the last couple of weeks, their hourly rate, their location, and the number of hours they're available for work each week. When you click on a developer's name or C profile, you can see the detailed profile of the developer. Here is one developer, Pavel's profile. And here's another developer, Collins's profile. You can review their bio, their work schedule in detail, and how they used specific technologies in specific contexts to create specific features across various jobs projects, and experiences. Finally, you can see reviews on the developer when available. If you want to invite a developer for an interview or call, or just a small and quick text-based chat, you can click Invite to Interview. 
but the system will ask you to register as a client. You fill in your name, your information, your company name, a description of what you want to create. You click register and then the system tells you, thank you for registering using your email. Your account will be reviewed within 24 hours. After approval, you will receive an email regarding next steps. Then you should go to your email with which you registered and wait from an email from LD Talent that says, thanks for registering. Generally, we ask that you connect with one of our staff on LinkedIn or sign up for a video call using our Calendly, which is on the LD Talent landing page in order to get your account approved. This is in order to confirm your identity so that we can offer you free trial credits. To sign up on the Calendly, go over here. Or to connect with our staff on LinkedIn, you can do this. Once your account is approved, you will receive another email titled Account Approved Next Steps. You will receive a link using which you can invite developers to an interview. Please keep that link private. When you click on that link, you can now invite developers to an interview. Let's go ahead and invite a developer. Let's invite this developer. You have invited this engineer for a Slack-based interview. If they accept, you will be introduced to them in the LD Talent Slack. Okay. As you can see here, the invite has been issued and the developer has been contacted. If you refresh the page, you will see the developers you invited at the bottom underneath the invited developers section. If the developer accepts the interview invite, you will be introduced to that developer within the LD Talent Slack organization. Speaking of the LD Talent Slack organization, you should have also received an invitation to that. Search your email for LD Talent Slack. When you get the Slack invite, we highly recommend that you add LD Talent to your Slack desktop and mobile apps as soon as possible. The reason we ask you to add LD Talent to your desktop and mobile apps is because if you just click open Slack and then open it up in the browser, and then you close the Slack later in the browser, you may not get notified when a developer accepts your invite and is trying to contact you. You may then miss each other and play tag chat for a long time, which is extremely inefficient. The quick fix to this is to just enable desktop notifications by clicking down here. But even better than that is to add Slack to your desktop and mobile apps and configure your notifications. To download the Slack desktop and mobile apps, click this link in the email. For downloading the mobile app, you can also search on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Make sure to add LD Talent as one of the Slack orgs that you are a member of within the desktop and mobile apps. When you open the LD Talent Slack, you will see a channel starting with LDC and then your name. LDC stands for LD Client. Pinned in that channel is a link to find engineers. We strongly recommend that you invite five to 10 developers for best results. Say you invite five developers and four accept your interview invite, then you can parallel process the interviews in Slack to speed up the process of finding an appropriate candidate for the free trial and subsequent work. Before you invite a developer, you may notice a few things about this page. You can switch between different requests that you have. You can enter in a description of the work that you want done and select skills, locations, and years of experience in order to filter developers. Within 24 hours of you joining Slack, you should also get a 10-step cheat sheet of how to use LD Talent effectively, which you should scan and acknowledge with a reaction if possible.
If a developer accepts your interview invite, then you will see an LDI channel appear. LDI stands for LD interview. The first part of the rest of the channel name would be part of your name and ID. And the second part would be part of the developer's name and ID. You'll get an LDI channel for each developer who accepts your interview invite. Within the LDI channel, you will find an introduction to the developer and suggested interview questions on work arrangements, process, teamwork and productivity, and engineering. When the developer responds, you'll be able to see it. For instance, in this channel, the developer replied here in the thread and also here in another thread. After assessing the developer's text-based responses, you can coordinate and schedule a call with them. At the scheduled time that you both agree upon, to call the developer, simply click on their name and press call. We recommend presenting a project spec for the developer in the interview. Ask them to label each subtask and subfeature with how many hours it might take them to implement. Evaluate developers based on how reasonable and detailed their estimates are. Once you have interviewed several developers on chat, and perhaps even called a couple of them, you may know who you want to try for the free trial in the case that you're looking for a contractor, or request an intro to in the case that you're looking to hire them directly for full-time roles. To do either of those things, you should go back to your LDC channel and click Link to Matches. You will see who you are currently interviewing and you can press try on them to start them on a free trial. Free trials are $105 in free credit, which on average means around five hours. Or you may prefer to hire the developer directly for a full-time role, in which case you can press request referral. When you do so, our staff will send you a finder's fee agreement of approximately 1K for international developers and approximately 2K for US-based developers. The agreement says that if the developer is hired by your company for over 100 days, then your company will be sent an invoice. If the developer does not last at your company, you owe nothing. Once you sign that finder's fee agreement over hello sign, then LD staff will make an email introduction to the developer. Now let's proceed to show you how the free trial and subsequent work happens for when developers are hired through the platform as contractors. Once you press try, the interview channel with the developer would convert to a project channel, which would look something like this. Once it's a project channel, developers can start tracking 30 minute work sessions on what features they are working on. Developer time tracking using Slack based work sessions was invented at LD Talent. If you search developer time tracking in Slack, you will find a blog on blog.learningdollars.com that covers the philosophy behind this style of time tracking. The article covers the transparency and efficiency this affords clients, as well as the privacy and expressiveness it affords developers. The blog covers how Slack-based work sessions are based on the Pomodoro technique and how clients should set standards for and approve developer work sessions. The article is also linked below. So developers track 30 minute work sessions and they have to be unique. You can even ask developers to include a git commit or link to a completed milestone every four to eight work sessions. You can also make agreements with developers to limit their work on a particular feature to X number of work sessions before reconvening to evaluate progress. You can use the estimates developers gave you during the interview as a gauge for approximately how many work sessions you want to authorize them to track. The work session system also resolves time zone issues. We schedule a mutually convenient check-in time in the project Slack channel. A Slack bot will remind you and the developer of that time every weekday. It might look something like this. That way you both spend a few minutes daily doing a stand-up, which is usually all that's needed to get the project going. After a developer has completed a milestone or feature, you will want to approve their work sessions. To do so, you should go to your LDC channel. Pinned in the channel, you will find a link to work sessions. 
A side note for future, if you go to your LDC channel and you cannot find a link in the chat history, simply click on the pin icon at the top of the channel. Pinned in the channel, you will find the links to find engineers, work sessions, matches, and client FAQ. Click the blue links to go to those pages. For instance, here, we click on the blue link to go to work sessions that we need to approve. You can select the time period, the reviewal status, the developer, and press apply. Only approve work if you are 100% satisfied after personally verifying project updates. For example, git commits, visual application updates after playing with the features developed. Remember that approved work sessions are paid to the developer and they are not refundable. You can view your balance at the top right of the work sessions page. Go through and approve the work sessions that you like. Or if you need to disapprove a work session, then provide a disapproval reason. It's better though to make your standards for work sessions clear to the developer upfront so that you don't have to disapprove work sessions later. Then press submit approvals. As you approve work sessions, your balance will drop. Once your balance drops a little, you may receive an invoice to fund more hours. Don't be surprised. This invoice is to fund more hours. The free trial is truly free. If you fund more hours, your balance will go up. As developers track work sessions, your balance will go down. If you approve the work sessions, your balance will rightly stay down. But if you reject work sessions, your balance will go back up. You can keep funding more hours as you need. At $21 an hour, which is the average rate on the platform, 20 hours is $420, 10 hours is $210, and 5 hours is $105. If your project is finished, make sure that you have reviewed all your unreviewed work sessions. After that is done, you can request the remaining unused balance in your account to be refunded back to you. When it is returned, it may be subject to a 3% cut depending on which payment system is used to make the return. If you are enjoying working with a developer and want to hire them directly, the platform buyout fee is 1K for international developers and 2K for US-based developers. Overall, we believe that LD Talent is the future of work and the best way to do remote work because it offers agility, granularity, efficiency, transparency, flexibility, quality, and trust. We hope you try the free trial to hire developers today.